go. I'm gonna make my race, my start okay, belt all crappy. Okay, we're getting right? Or are we just running from this way? No, no, go, go, go. Okay. I was planning on letting him by anyway. So that works. I didn't know what uh, we ended up deciding on, but this is our fourth championship race in the Geneta G40 series, so with the worldracers.com crew. Should be pretty fun. We had one guy disconnect right at the start, so qualifying got a little messed up. Oh god. He breaks earlier than I do there. This is not really a passing point at all. But we're still gonna challenge. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> that wasn't gonna work. <laughs> yeah, in that situation, it's easier to just back out of that than try to challenge into that corner. I think my breaking points are legitimately further up than almost anybody else's. Which is why it's odd to me that I didn't get pulled, but it's entirely possible I screwed up some of the other areas a little more. It's always a possibility with me. But my setup is really solid around here. to stay a little more off the throttle than, I, throttle than I want to. I'm gonna have to brake a little bit early here. Yeah, I brake almost at that white sign. Oh, <laughs> that was close. Oh, that was so close to his rear end. Whew. Oh, now we got Mario behind us. He's always very... Fast and consistent. Ugh. Gotta get in my groove. Gotta fall off 14 laps here. This corner of the car wants to go sideways a couple different times. You just have to really wheel it through there. And this car doesn't burn through its tires at all, so you could really abuse the rears in a couple of the corners and get away with it. Uh, I broke a little early. I tend to like to actually break all the way through the middle part of that corner, if I can. Even if it's just the tiniest bit of trail braking, on this car in particular, it tends to really keep the nose planted down and in the direction you want it to. And then here, you want to carry a lot of speed through there, but you kind of can't. That wasn't... <laughs> And again, I'm pretty sure I just break a lot later than the other people. Well, hopefully that wasn't my fault with Mario, but I wasn't looking in my mirror at the time. Was that my fault, Mario? Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> okay, I just, I saw you spear off and for a second. I was like, oh, I hope I didn't accidentally slow down way more than he expected or something. Uh oh, no. <laughs> oh, I, I, I did the... Uh... That chicane uh, all uh, practice session uh, without any mistake, and then. <laughs> well, that's usually my job to do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these guys are a lot of fun. Most of us are still very competitive, but we also have a very good sense of just going out there and having fun and if mistakes happen they all stick with it I mean that's like paradox after that first lap in multiplayer a lot of people would have quit after his spin at the end but he's already right back on my bumper and he's very fast around here so we're gonna have to try and find as much speed as we can possibly muster I mean he dropped four tenths off me in that one straight away So we're really going to have to work hard if we plan on keeping him behind us at all. 
There's a couple corners where I seem to break much later than he does, though, which might help. In this corner, it's really deceptive. You want to try to carry a lot of speed through there, but if you carry just the slightest bit too much, you're either in the tire barrier or in the uh, grass to the side. So you really got to be careful. Oh, that's way too much curb, but that's okay. You can get away with it every once in a while. It just really makes you not able to accelerate out the way I want to. But as you can see in the top left, it's a lot of laps here, so... Got to be very diligent with how I go about this. Oh, that was too much speed. Got to keep it out of the wall. We did. <laughs> But Lay's kept it out of the wall, but he's going to get a huge run here. I was trying to be a little sneaky and get away with not breaking at all. I just don't need to break a tiny bit. Luckily, I got through that last corner a little bit better than he did. For reference, my qualifying time was a 56.4. So that's the pace I know I have in myself and the car. But that was on low fuel with pretty new tires. So it's entirely possible that I don't get back to that pace, but that's the sort of pace I'm looking for. Anything in the 56s is preferable. Not doing stuff like that is obviously preferable. Oh, man. You didn't have to let me buy a hamster. <laughs> Just got a little too aggressive. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a really tempting corner to try and do that in. Ah, got on the accelerator a little too early. Now I got a mirror full of Mario. <laughs> oh, that was a moment. That was a moment and a half. Whew. I think I need to back up my brake points a tiny bit and be a little more careful with it for a couple of laps. Probably have slightly overheated tires now. It's going to lose me a little bit of grip and cause some excessive wear if I don't try and control it just that tiny little bit. And I have to try and run down Paradox, which is going to be very, very difficult around here. But at the same time, it's entirely possible that he'll make a similar mistake. It's a very easy track to just get the tiniest bit wrong, and it'll bite you real hard for it. A little conservative on the braking for now. The setup I have on the car is pretty much standard. There's just 20% more diff power, 20 newton meters more preload in it. And then some of the dampers are ever so slightly stiffer. Other than that, it's pretty much stock. And then I changed the uh, tire pressures to all be as, as even across all four tires as I could possibly make them. When I take that corner correctly, I really gain some speed from it. But I think Mario takes this breaking point much more aggressively than I'm able to. Which is evidenced by just how much speed he gains into that corner over me. So he's definitely better on braking, at least in that corner, than I am. And I have to be so careful there. He's all over my bumper! Whew! Try and move some of my braking points back forward. It seems like he trail brakes better than me, is really what it looks like. Judging by how deep into the corner he's going. But it seems like I'm able to accelerate a little earlier in a couple places. And because I moved the diff power forward from 40 to 60, I'm definitely able to get off the corner a little bit faster. If he hasn't done the same thing, which it seems like he hasn't.
getting through that corner nice now. I'm able to... I'm being able to move my break points back forward again. And we're catching Paradox, which is good. There we go, 56.5. That's the kind of pace I'm looking for. That was a little wide on Apex. That's going to hurt me on exit speed. Luckily, this isn't a very long run. So Mario can't really do much with it, even if he has a run. But we will protect the inside. Ah! Oh, are you okay? Ah, that's what I get for trying to protect the inside. <laughs> <laughs> that curb was like, hey, you know what sounds good? Spin in your car. <laughs> Ugh. It's one of those things I'm still not perfect at, is definitely defending like that. Because realistically, I should have, with my pace, I probably should have just moved back to the outside when I saw him not making a move for that. So, at this point, it looks like third is probably where we will likely end up, but... You never know. It's entirely possible somebody else starts making mistakes instead of me. And it's one of those things where it's not even its not even that I get all nervous that he's there or anything. I know he's there, I know what I want to do. It's just in trying that different line I end up with a result that I don't want. It's one of those things I need to start getting myself to practice a little bit more. Is, is realistically just literally practicing different lines through some of the corners. So when I do have to defend, or when I'm attacking, I know how the car is going to feel in that different area. Some drivers can obviously just feel that naturally from the way that they drive, or the way that they expect the car to react, and I'm definitely not one of those drivers. I really have to practice that other line to really get a good, solid feeling. Oh, that might be too wide. Okay, good. Thought that might have given me a penalty there. I really have to practice those other lines to know how the car is actually going to react and what I need to change driving-wise. Realistically, that corner, I just need to take my line and stick with it. It's a fast line through there, and it's my car is literally right on the edge of that whole corner, so I need to just stick with it. This corner, I wish I knew what breaking point Mario used. Because he gets into that corner so much better than me. I felt a little better through that section. Felt a little faster. One of the things I found in practice is I can take that in the very bottom of third gear, which means I should be able to take it right at the top of second. And I think I'm still dipping a little too low in the revs to really be efficient there. So I'm going to try and be a little more aggressive there. The tough part is being just aggressive enough to be gaining on the car ahead without being so aggressive that you're, that you're making mistakes that you shouldn't be. Like I did when I was behind Mr. Paradox. But luckily we haven't... Uh, we haven't thrown our race array away by any means. We still have the possibility of getting back up here and at least fighting for second. But it looks like Paradox has definitely taken off away from Mario, so I'm guessing the gap to him is probably about where it was before. Oh, that was a really good lap at 56.4. It's a very strong lap. That was probably the most aggression I want to try to use in turn one. It was right on the limit of where I feel comfortable with the car. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's never what you want to hear. Oh, Manic was... something must have happened with Manic, because now Drafter's behind me. That felt like a better entry, although I'm four tenths down in the first sector alone. 
so that's not ideal. Oh, that was good through there. These cars kind of lull you into sleep. You should think they should be able to push them more than you can. And that's right when they fight back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's part of why I really like this car, though. It's, it's a car that's easy to drive up to its limit. But it's really hard to get the most out of it once you're at that point. So it's a nice and easy car to drive right up to where you need to drive it to be f just plain fast. But then when you're trying to go beyond that and be extra fast, be as fast as you need to be, is when it starts getting really slippery in some key areas. And that's when the setup changes come in, that's where the driver feel comes in, which is usually when I start losing out, but with this car in particular, I seem to be able to put together decent lap times again and again and again, so it ends up making it very fun for me at least to drive this car. Mostly I just need to be careful on entry there. I can control the counter steer the rest of the way through the corner. You sort of feel and see as the rear end starts to slide around a little bit. It's just right on that entry point. If I get that wrong, then I'm having to try to correct the rest of the way through. Oh, I almost oversteered on entry there. Oh, we had a really good entry. We were definitely hunting Mario down. But again, it looks like the gap to Paradox is about the same as it's always been, so I don't think we're actually hunting him down. But, regardless, constantly doing these 56s is definitely doing us some good. If we can stay in that pace consistently, which is just basically doing literal qualifying laps for myself. My qualifying was a 56.4. So, if I can just keep doing that, then I'm in really good shape. Ooh, that's going to put us on a 57. That is not ideal. Good exit there. We're still gaining on second. I think we're definitely, even if we're going faster than Paradox, I don't think it's enough to actually get to him by the end of this, because Paradox is a tendency to be very, very consistent. So if we are gaining on him, it's very, very small margins, but we might be able to catch Mario, depending on what happens. So that's my goal at this point, is to try and aim for second place. And then if first place falls in our lap, that's great. If second place falls in our lap, that's great also. But right now my aim is to try and get up here and pass Mario, and then we'll see after that. I have a feeling we might just run out of laps here before anything can really happen. <laughs> that was a bit of a slide on entry there. I broke a little bit later than I'm used to. Trying to find a little... Oh, that here's hurt. second place given to us. So now we can monitor the gap and see what we can do about first place here. Like I said earlier, these guys, we are all still competitive, but none of us is like, oh, it's a win or nothing. We all still have fun with it. Wow, he gets through that section better than me. He gapped me by half a second there. Oh, the gap is really sporadic right now, which is odd. Usually it only happens when somebody has a high ping. All of us should have a pretty average ping to each other. Good thing about this race is, I get to go golfing in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alright, 
Let's see, I think this is going to be a 57, which is probably going to be part of the problem. Yeah, 57.5. So more than anything, I think that's why he was able to gap me there, because I lost a lot of speed second half. And if you look at the bottom right, I've definitely got some tire wear that's starting to creep in on a couple of key corners. That left front tends to wear pretty quickly on this car anyway, and with the little mini spins and whatnot I've done. It's a little more worn than it should be at this point anyway. Uh, Mario did get back on track in third though, so that's good. Uh, he's probably fighting with Drafter now. Still getting through that corner really well. And luckily the left front is not causing me issues on exit. But this is where Paradox's consistency will probably play to his advantage and my disadvantage. Because the tires are not my friends anymore. Oh, I got through there really well that time. So my tendency now is going to be to over push and then spin. Whereas his tendency is going to be just put in the same laps he's been putting in. So I really have to try and control myself and not go too far over. And if nothing else, at least bring home second. So I don't want to lose that. Oh, one second off my fastest. This is this is a terrible lap. That was a good turn there, though. That's the turn where I'm actually going to have to be braking a little more than I was earlier in the race. Mostly because it's of that front left tire, like I said. On the bright side, the front left tire being worn means that we're going to tend to get more understeer from that. So the only thing we're really having to sacrifice is entry. We still managed a 57 out of that, but as you can see by the fact that that's almost a second slower, even a 56.8 or 56.9 would have been preferable. So we are way off of our race pace right now, which it's entirely possible that I just blew through the tires and now I'm not gonna get that pace back. But I have a striking suspicion that I was just throwing it too hard into some of these corners. And I need to get back to my own pace, my own lines, my own break points. Instead of trying to push it further than I should, just get back to my own speed. There we go, see? If I get back to my speed and my setup, driving it my way, then I tend to get right back in that uh, safe zone. I like how aggressive I can be there now though. My break point and turn points for that chicane seem to have gotten better as the race went on, which is good. Regardless of anything else, I think we are out of time though, with only two laps left this time by. Unless something really big happens, mistake-wise from the front, or unless I find some magical one second difference. I think he's got enough of a gap to keep me behind. Uh, having to lift there is not ideal. You really want a really good run out of that corner. I said really twice. It is interesting though, I haven't had to move any of my brake points, even with the wear on my front left. So the car is still digging in like I want it to, it's still driving like I want it to. Oh, 56.7, that's much better than our previous lap. It's unfortunate we had those two 57s back to back that really hurt our overall chances. But I mean, I dropped almost a second to first place, or gained almost a second to first place just in that lap alone. So imagine if I had done 56s in the other, that gap might be closer to five seconds instead. Still, I think it still would have been insurmountable, but the more that gap comes down and the quicker it comes down, the more Paradox is going to be noticing that. And if I can get to the point where I'm actually in his rearview mirror, even if it's ever so slightly, that will start affecting a driver. Oh, dang, Grave, that was good. So we really want to try. I've lost the liquor. Sorry, man. <laughs> we really want to try and get up there as much as we can, as fast as we can. That whole section seems to be my section. 
where I definitely have a gap on him. And unfortunately, we're coming around to the white flag lap. Again, I think I'm just completely out of time to accomplish what I need to. So at this point, I'm going to have to rely on a mistake more than anything. Eh, I dropped three tenths in that sector alone. Not ideal. And it still felt like I was going as fast as the car wanted to go. Or was willing to go, I should say. Oh, we're gaining lots of tenths here, though. Cracked up my brake point a little bit for that corner. Try and carry more speed through the exit of it. I think I was trying to turn it in a little too sharp. Should be a decent lap. Yeah. We gained a lot of time in that last sector. Again, unfortunately, it's just one lap left. Pretty sure I can't erase five seconds in one lap. But that will not stop me from charging. We have a ten second gap behind, so... All but the worst calamity means that we can still keep pushing. We are still gaining. We can see him on track now. So all it takes is a little mistake here. All it takes is a little pressure for him to say, Oh no, I need to press harder. To be like, Oh no, my lead is in jeopardy. So this is why we keep pushing the whole time. Push, push, push. But we try to do it on our own terms, in our own way. Oh, that was way too early. That's alright though. We can make it work. That'll probably be a tenth or two dropped there. But I think I get th enough through that section faster than him. Had enough of a difference that I think I still made a gain there. I had to really be careful not to clip that curb. That big old sausage curb will really mess up the way the car acts through there. We have dropped so much time off of him over these last few laps. It really is a I shame. I think this game has the best lighting effects of any game I've ever seen. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Just make a mistake here. Come on. Ah, oh, it's pushing so hard. And I definitely agree this game has really nice loading. Ugh. Ah! So who won? Paradox did. I was nice win, Paradox. I was running him down though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was he was coming. He, that hamster was charging. Oh. My tires were starting to get worn. Oh, mine were too, and I was just sliding it through corners instead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that was fun. Oh, I love this combination. Anyway, while I have a chance before everybody starts talking, I want to thank all of you guys very much for stopping by. Hopefully there will be more of this content in the near future, and I will see you all later.